My mother always liked to look good. Reminiscent of her early years as a live model for Eaton's, I always thought. She was the type of gal who would spend her whole paycheck on an outfit. Shoes, purse, gloves, hat, jacket, blouse, jewelry. Just a little bit of costume jewelry, nothing expensive, she would tell me. And I, as a little girl, would be a little bit aghast. It seemed so indulgent and over the top to me. Hair done weekly, even on the farm, where the other farm wives were in the practice of no-nonsense home perms. They would look at my mum with surprise, and I think now maybe some envy. My mum, the lady from Toronto. Nails done, and a nightly routine of face washing and Pond's face cream. My nana, mum's mum, a real natural beauty herself and a flapper, had used Pond's cream. At age 83, chronically ill with severe scoliosis, COPD, and a myriad of other diagnoses, my mother continued to set trends and turn heads in her assisted living home. Oxygen, BiPAPs, wheelchairs did not stop my mum from wearing silk and pearls with coordinated shoes and the appropriate shade of lipstick. A face to show the world, she would say. A vanity of old, perhaps, of putting on one's clothes and preparing to greet your guest, poised with all the pertinent information to make your guest comfortable. Charming, putting yourself in the background. This sums up my mum. My mum's early life in Toronto, her married life in Edmonton, the farm, and then Edmonton again, did not always contain the dreams of her 18-year-old self. In the hospital now, drifting in and out of consciousness, the hallucination of preparing her wardrobe for the next day. She opens her eyes to look at me. Hun, where's my face cream? I need to put it on. I gulp and look frantically till I find the jar, and then I struggle to find a spot to put it on her face. There's tubes and tape. There's no space. I finally decide on a spot on her forehead. I dip my finger in the jar and I gently rub it in. Ah, oh, babe, that's just what I need it. It feels so good. I go back and back over this moment. And then when the tubes were gone and I gently caressed her face, free now of all tubes, and I say, her skin was so soft, so soft, right till the end, it was beautiful, so soft. We are driving, and I reach over, and I caress my daughter Kate's face. Oh, hon, your skin is so soft. Yes, she says, returning the touch. Just like you and Nana and Great Nana, the Quinn point of in women, we have soft skin. I took that jar of Pond's cream home, and I used it. And now, when I want to remember my mum, I smell it, and no picture, no artifact brings back my mum like that smell. It smells like love and the essence of my mom, a true lady. Mm -hmm.